This is a story about U.S. immigration policy. The goal has always been to identify which people to welcome and which to keep out. Let's start in 1790. The first immigration law passed limited U.S. citizenship to any free white person. The law thus excluded people from almost anywhere outside of Europe, not to mention enslaved Africans and Native Americans who'd been living on the land for centuries. As immigrants of color began trickling into the country despite such restrictions, U.S. politicians moved again to officially favor white people. In 1882, Chinese were prohibited from coming here. And in 1924, Congress instituted national origin quotas. More than 100,000 visa slots were reserved each year for people coming from Northern Europe, while people from Asia, Africa, and other parts of the world had tiny allocations. Because migrants generally follow the example of family members and acquaintances who've gone before them, Europeans dominated the immigrant flow year after year after year. Those national origin quotas stayed in place until 1965, when they were finally abolished as racist and discriminatory. Under the Immigration Act of 1965, priority was given instead to immigrants who had spouses, parents, siblings, or other family members already in the U.S. Some politicians thought this family unification policy would still favor white people because they were more likely than non-whites to have U.S. relatives. But they miscalculated. By 1965, Europeans were largely content to stay put. They were no longer lining up in large numbers to move to America. It was a different story in the developing world. People there were increasingly eager to escape poverty and war or seek economic opportunity in America. That's where the long lines began to form. For every student or worker who got a visa to come to the U.S. from Africa, Asia, or Latin America, there were many family members back home who wanted to follow. This is what President Trump refers to derisively as chain migration, and it's become an explosive issue. The foreign-born share of the U.S. population has risen from 5% to 13.5%, with nearly 9 of 10 new immigrants arriving from countries outside Europe. President Trump wants to move to a merit-based system where immigrants with the skills and training most needed in the U.S. are favored over people looking to reunite with family members. Such a shift, however, would mark a sharp departure from what has been the prevailing pattern of migration throughout the country's history. Tom Jelton, NPR News.